Let's talk about the integral of tangent to the fourth of x dx. How can we find the indefinite integral of this expression? Now the first thing we need to do is we need to split this into two parts. So I'm going to write it as tangent squared times another tangent squared because 2 plus 2 adds up to 4. Now you need to know the Pythagorean identities. 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. Subtracting both sides by 1, we can see that tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. So I'm going to replace tan squared with this expression. So now I have the integral of tangent squared times secant squared minus 1. Now what you want to do at this point is you want to distribute tan squared to secant squared and to negative 1. So if we do that, we're going to have the integral of secant squared tan squared minus tangent squared. Now the next best thing to do is to separate this problem into two separate integrals. Now let's focus on the first integral. So how can we integrate secant squared times tangent squared? Notice that the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So we can use u substitution. Let's make u equal to tangent x and du will equal secant squared x dx. So let's replace tangent with u. So right now this is going to give us the integral of u squared and then let's replace secant squared dx with du. So we have the integral of u squared du which is u to the third divided by 3 plus c using the power rule. And so we're going to have one-third replacing u with tangent, one-third tangent cube x plus c. Now let's move on to the second integral, the integral of tangent squared. Now we can replace tangent squared with secant squared minus 1. And the integral of secant squared is tangent because the derivative of tangent is secant squared and the integral of negative 1 will be negative x plus some constant c. So now we can write the final answer. Which will include these two. So the integral of tangent to the fourth power is going to be one-third tangent cube plus actually minus because we do have this negative sign so it's going to be all of this but times negative one so it's minus tangent x and then negative x times negative one so that's going to be plus x and then plus some generic constant c so this is the final answer